Hi, I am Masar Hussain and I am presenting you a VHDL demo which is based on an FPGA device. FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Array devices were introduced by Xilinx in mid 80s. They are aimed at the implementation of high performance large size circuits. In this tutorial, we are going to use Xilinx IC Design Suit, which is the synthesis, placement, and simulation tool. iSIM Simulator is also provided as part of the package. iSIM will be used to visualize the simulation later in this tutorial. To work on your own computers, a limited version of Xilinx IC Web Pack can be downloaded for free from Xilinx website. FPGA design process involves the same sequence of actions for every FPGA design software suit. That is, first to create a project, choose a name of your project, an FPGA device, in this case an access to board, a default language which is VHDL, and then add a file to project, both HDL description of the target device and test benches of behavioral simulation. Uh, do this behavioral simulation to see if your logic is working. Then you have to run synthesis. Uh, finally, implementation and visiting generation is the follow up step. Now we can start from the first step by creating a project. Launch IEC Project Navigator. A screen like that will be displayed. Start a new project. In this dialog box, choose the location of the project and type the name of the project. We will name it to multiplexer example because we are going to simulate the behavior of a multiplexer. Leave top level source type as HDL. After clicking next, select the target device Choose the family, for example, Spartan 3, the package, XST as synthesis tool, iSIM as simulator, and VHDL as preferred language. Click Next and Finish. Now you can see source pen with project hierarchy and navigation window, along with the editing area. Now it's time to define a VHDL module of a multiplexer. We can take an example of a 4 to 1 multiplexer. Right click near project hierarchy and select new source. Type the name of the entity of the VHDL code. Remember we are going to create a multiplexer with 4 inputs and 1 output with 2 additional inputs as selection switches. After choosing the name Click next and specify the input output pins of the circuit. The mode of the signal can be in, out, in out or buffer. In and out are truly unidirectional pins while in out is bidirectional. The 4 to 1 mux needs to have two select switches four inputs and one output click next now you can see the complete port definition now click finish in editor pen you will be able to see the basic digital packages from the IEEE library starting from line 20 and then ends at line 21 Next is the entity starting from line 32 and uh, contain the signals for MUX 4 to 1 ends at line 39. In the architecture after line 43, the process with sensitivity list is initiated. The sensitivity list contain all four inputs plus the selection switches. In the process, a case statement is declared which depend on 2-bit MUX selection. 
So when the mug selection is 0, 0, input 1 will be linked to output. When the mug selection is 0, 1, input 2 will be linked to output. Similarly, when the mug selection is 1, 0, input 3 will be linked to output. And when the mug selection is 1, 1, input 4 will be linked to output. After saving the project, now it's time to verify the functionality of this multiplexer using behavioral simulation. Select the simulation view and then the model you want to simulate. In process pan, right click on simulate behavioral model and select run. Now you can see the iSIM window with multiplexer waveforms. Force the value of four mug selection switches, for example 00. zero. As we know that in the VHDL code for multiplexer, if the mug selections are 00, zero then the input 1 becomes the output. So we can force any value to input 1 and keep rest of the inputs as undefined and see if it appears on output or not. Click on run for the time specified on toolbar, which by default is one microsecond but one can change this to any desired time we can see that the input one appears on output notice that the simulation starts after one microsecond and runs for another one microsecond actually this is the default simulation runtime settings which allows the simulation to run after one microsecond but we can change this settings in process properties. For example, now we set it to one nanosecond instead. If we run the simulation again, the waveforms should start from one nanosecond and ends at one microsecond. Force the value of our mark selection which is two zero one and force any value to input two because in our multiplexer model, we know that if the mug selections are 0, 1, input 2 becomes the output. By running the simulation for 1 microsecond, now you can see that the input 2 is appeared on output. Meanwhile, you can see that the simulation begins from 1 nanosecond and ends at 1 microsecond. Another way to simulate the modules is to use a VHDL test bench file. One can automate the verification of large and more complicated modules with many possible input cases through the use of a VHDL test bench. In the project navigator, right click under the source pane and select new source. From the list of options given, select VHDL test bench. Name the new module, for example, MUX. 421 underscore test bench and select next. Now select the module for your test bench from the list selected. In this case, the name of the multiplexer module is MUX421 and next. Then click finish. Now the template for test bench is appeared in both source pan and editor pan. Under the architecture section between architecture and begin. You will see a declaration for the module we are trying to test as component. From line 56 to 59, initialize the input signals with values, for example, 0 for input 1, 1 for input 2, 0 for input 3, and 1 for input 4, and remove or comment out some of the auto generated code that is not required. In this case, we are not using any clock, so comment out that code. Under the behavioral description from line 71, you will see the instance of the 4 to 1 multiplexer we created earlier. Comment out the auto-generated clock process as we are not using it in this module. One can even delete the unwanted lines to keep the code clean. Now we can add simple wait for 100 nanosecond command 
after setting the value for each mark selection. We know that we have to run the simulation for all four possibilities. For now, we will remove the wait command to run it over and over again. According to this process, the value of mux selection switches will change every after 100 nanoseconds. Much like regular VHDL modules, you also have the ability to check the scientists of a VHDL test bench. With your test bench module highlighted, select Behavioral Check Scientists under the process pan or select Simulate Behavioral Model and run when everything is OK. This will open the simulator window. Note that the first one microsecond of the simulation have been executed automatically. In order to see all possible combinations of 4 to 1 multiplexer, run the simulation for another one microsecond. After that, click on Fit to Window Zoom function to see the complete waveform. Notice that the value of mug selection changes every 100 nanosecond as intended. In addition, you can see the corresponding input and output values. For example, when mug selection is 00, zero the input 1 becomes the output. Similarly, when it is 0, 01, the input 2 becomes the output. When mug selection is 10, the input 3 becomes the output and when it is 1 1 the input 4 becomes the output. Hope you understand the concept of simulating a VHDL module in Zilinx IEC design suit.